Hey everybody, Aaron Count Sage Dynamics, and in this video we're going to talk about rifle drills. So I don't know if people ask me, what are some drills that I commonly do to, that I like to shoot for rifle purposes? I've done a whole series on red dot drills that I liked. I wanted to do one on rifles, and we're not talking specifically about RDS sights either. We're just talking about drills that are germane, or drills that I like to shoot with the rifle, even if they can be shot rifle or handgun. And I wanted to just do a quick series on what drills I like, and this, of course, is not exhaustive. There's other drills that I do, but I want to talk about the ones that I shoot most habitually, why I shoot them, and, of course, one video per drill of explaining why I like the drill and how to shoot it if you're not familiar with it. So the first video, I think, is the drill that frustrates me, not the most, but the one I'm consistently trying to push my performance on. I call it the fives. You may have seen this drill done with other variations or for other purposes. I do this in handgun uh, classes. I also sh I have my students run it in handgun classes. I have my student run it in rifle classes. I also shoot it quite a bit myself. It's a 25 round course of fire fired from five distances. So five rounds at five yards, then 10 yards, then 15, then 20, then 25 starting with a par time, and then every time you move back, that par time goes up. So we're getting time, distance, and the final, uh, the final part of the equation is accuracy. I shoot it on a, on a UTC target, which is my most common target. It has that 4 by 6 A zone. I like the smaller A zone, which is super important for the purposes of this drill. Although you can shoot it on a regular metric A zone or, or pie plate or whatever you happen to be. Want. You can shoot it on steel if you want. Uh, the, the par time is a little bit of the nebulous part because you can start it a bunch of different ways. Because I'm talking specifically about the rifle, I'm taking a whole second average out of the par time because I'm not having to draw and then meet my grip. I'm going to start from like a low ready or a high ready or a high port or a muzzle down or however you want to start it. I'm going to pick a starting par time. I generally do, because it's a five round course of fire, I think about, okay, I want to push myself. I might start with 1.5 seconds from five yards or I might start with one. Regardless of what my starting par time is, as I go back, I'm only adding half a second. So if I start at 1.5, when I get through 10 yards, I have two seconds, then 2.5 seconds, then three seconds, then 3.5. You guys know math, you're familiar with this. And that's how the drill goes. Every time I move back, bump my par time up a little bit more. My goal, of course, would be to shoot every five rounds from every distance inside my 4x6 box if I'm really pushing myself. So if you're not familiar with this drill, be it handgun or rifle, with handgun the part times are a little bit different because there's a whole draw stroke aspect, as I already said. I will probably increase by that half a second, but if I'm just getting into the drill, I've never shot it before, I may start and increase by whole seconds. It's important to track your progress on drills that you like or drills that you shoot habitually to see if you're actually improving. And that's kind of the whole purpose of a drill is a snapshot measurement of where we're at with our skill set applied to a problem. So problem, problem solving skills. So in this case, it's a very artificial target placed down there, maybe a little anatomy or whatever, but there's a scoring zone. And then I have, an, again, somewhat arbitrary, but at least as objective as possible, uh, part time as I move back. And I love shot timers when they're not overused because they do provide an objective measurement of how well you performed. Even though I'm shooting a rifle, which is inherently more accurate than a handgun when, when equal skills are applied to both, that 4x6 six box is significantly small the further back we go in regards to the shortest amount of time that we're giving ourselves. So if I get into this drill to start and I'm like, you know, I'm going to bang this out and I'll, my starting part time will be two seconds and then I'll jo go up a whole second as I go back, eventually when you're scoring 25 out of 25, it's time to push yourself again. My goal is to shoot it clean every single time. Five rounds in the A zone from every distance, regardless of the par time. What I've found <laughs> is when I went from going up whole seconds to going up half seconds, even with a little bit more generous starting par time, getting 25 out of 25 became challenging. One point two two. One point nine nine. Two point eight nine.
3.21. That was a full second run, starting part time and then moving back and going up one second every time I move back, shooting on a Unity high mount using an aim point uh, on a 12.5 inch Sage Dynamics Edition from Sons of Liberty Gunworks, even though most of that's arbitrary. The only factor really that, that's important for the purposes is drill, knowing your equipment, and of course, shooting with a red dot. Although I shoot this on magnified optics as well, usually staying on one powder as I go all the way back. I can bump it up to like three or four X at 25 to kind of cheat, but I like not to, because I still consider 25 yards to be a PID distance. I don't have to zoom in to, oh, that's the guy. Uh, and it kind of challenges myself because at those distances I'm still running my 1x magnified optic uh, on the 1x setting as a red dot. Going up half a second every time I move back is like a different planet. So that was the work I did. First thing I came to the range this morning when I was filming this video is I, I did the full second bump up and then I did the half second bump up. So that's kind of where I'm at. This drill to me is best shot cold or within the first hundred rounds of your range visit before you start to fatigue, before your thumbs start to get sore, before you start to get distracted by life catching up with you, whatever. Uh, but this is the fives drill and it's a really good drill. And again, it is a higher round count. However, you get a lot more data from your performance, giving you an idea where you're at when you have to measure time, distance, accuracy. I'm Eric Count with Sage Dynamics. Train accordingly.